Welcome to my Network Forensics lab setup. Here we're looking at preparing our workstation for Network Forensics. So some of the tools we're going to be using from our book is going to be things like Notepad++, uh, the 010 editor, that's going to be our hex editor, and the appropriate plugs in, uh, plugin for that, HashCalc, Network Miner, Wireshark, the Bolster Sandbox Analyzer for a little bit of malware analysis within our network review, and we have a few web shortcuts. So first thing I want to do is, okay, the purpose of this video is just showing how to prep our workstation. I'm going to download Chrome. I don't know why I did it like that, but I did. Once we get Chrome installed, we'll actually go and download the rest of these tools. Uh, I suggest making shortcuts for all of the files, uh, all of the programs to your desktop, like I've done in other videos. All right, I'm going to pause it while this downloads. Okay, so the first one that I want to do are the shortcuts, make this nice and simple. I'm going to go ahead and make do shortcuts, virus total for verifying what a file is composed of, and a base64 encoder. Well, encoder and decoder. So that takes care of those two. The, that version should be fine. We also have to make sure to add in a few other items. Uh, like Adobe Reader, Office, somehow, and those should be more than sufficient. Again, the defaults are fine for what we're doing. Create a short down on the desktop. Go ahead and open it up. All right, so Notepad is taken care of. Next, we want the 010 editor. Most of what I have installed is the 32 bit version. Create desktop on the icon, or icon on the desktop. Yep. I don't want a cap to keep showing up pop-up dialog, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. I'm gonna come back to the 010 editor here in a minute. Hash calc. I'm going to just copy the entire zip to the desktop. Desktop icon, yep. Go and launch it. All right, it works. Network miner. We want the free edition. 
at least for what we're doing in this class. Okay, let's go ahead and copy it to the desktop, so it's out of the zip file. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the folder in downloads, but I want to make a shortcut to the executable because this is not an installer. Next is Wireshark. No, no. Wireshark. <laughs> not SolarWinds, but Wireshark. Make sure to have Wireshark and T-Shark both installed. Desktop icon, yes. Uh, go and leave the default, should be fine. And lastly will be this. I'm not going to run Wireshark just yet. I want to download the Buster Sandbox Analyzer. Oh, nope, that's a RAR file. Okay, so apparently we're just going to have to do the RAR file. So that means something like Win7. Oh, not Win7. We'll just do WinRAR. Thirty two bits should be fine. I was thinking seven zip, <laughs> but that's okay. So that allows us to open up our now our file so we can open up the BSA. I'm going to go ahead and extract everything to the BSA folder. Open up BSA. I had older programs sometimes. Okay, so BSA is at least downloaded. I'm going to do separate videos on how to configure BSA because that's going to be a whole other challenge Adobe Reader Alright, it took a minute Downloaded, get that guy installed. Okay, that downloaded Adobe Reader. Uh, I copied over Office. 
So I'm going to go ahead and dump hash calc. There are my two shortcuts. Don't really need Adobe Reader on my, short, on my desktop. So we have our editor, we have our notepad, hash calc, network miner, Wireshark, our two shortcuts. Office, you guys can install Office. Not need to do a video for that. All right, so. Okay, so. While we were paused, I installed Office. I installed the Adobe Reader. I downloaded a PDF and a JPEG. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make a new Word document. I'm gonna make a new Excel document. So these are literally just so that when we open up our Zero Tint Editor, I don't want that to be viewing on startup. I want to open up a JPEG. The reason I want to open up these certain files is because there are repositories needed to be installed. Alright, there's our JPEG. I want to open up the PDF. Again, PDF.bt. I want to go ahead and open up the Word document. Word document is blank. And I want to open up the Excel document. The Excel document is blank, but there is still code in there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. I'm going to reopen it. Double check, make sure Dogo is working. And it is. And that is a good starting point for the tools that we need. We have Notepad++, we have the 010 editor, we've opened up a doc, a JPEG, a PDF, we made sure HashCalc was working, Network Miner was working, Wireshark was working, Adobe Reader and Office were all working, and we are good to go. So this is how we're going to do most of our lab material, is inside of this VM. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.